Hey, what is going on everybody, and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7. Now today, got some more RTA for you guys. As you can see on the left side, we are we are making our way up with uh, three days left to go. I'm 200 ranks away from Emperor. Let's see if we can do anything to close that gap uh, tonight. I'm actually recording pretty late. It's a little bit before I head off to bed, but... Decided, you know what? Why not? Let's go for it. Uh, this guy's name, though, Specter Ravi. It's uh, kind of nice. So we're gonna go ahead and ban half of his name there. He banned his own name. What is going on? Uh, <laughs> wonder if he's gonna pick Specter Tenebria here. All right. See, Lily is getting snagged out. So we're gonna go for a uh, DJB and. Along with DJB, I think Rimuru is probably pretty decent here. So let's go for that. He's a very generic pick, and I like him because he can't be used against me. But also, mine's built so tanky that people tend to have a more difficult time dealing with him. Which I have been enjoying. Alright, Politus, Wander Silk. This guy might be going for a cleave of some sort. That's what I feel, at least. So, how do I continue countering this, right? Wander Silk, Politus, he has Sea Lilius. We could go for something like an SSB. I mean, he needs two strong units here, right? He can go for like Ron or Ida or something, but. We can ban one of them. Do we go SSB here? We go Bellion, right? We definitely go Bellion here, I think. Yeah, Bellion's a good, decent pick. And we go, uh, I think we go SSB. Oh no, we can also go for something like t -Surin, Something of that sort. Do we go t -Surin? Do we go k -Ron? No, let's go k -Ron. Yeah, we can last pick something like SSB and make it really awkward for him. Yeah, so Straze being picked out is a good thing I didn't go for SSB. We we're a little too slow to deal with this. Straze is fine, though, because of k -Ron. He's using Straze to get rid of Bellion. Now the last pick is the one that really matters. This is a pick that I have to ban, or I'm just going to get rid of the Straze and pick SSB, and I think we're solid. Let's see what happens. Thinking real hard. He has to think real hard here because, yeah, this is definitely, um, definitely a match that I think I have the advantage in drafting at the moment, but again, the tide can turn pretty quickly. Uh, Meru seems like a pretty decent option as well. Oh, Fire Ravi! Okay. Yeah, so SSB is definitely the choice here, and I think he must ban this. And I think we go ahead and ban the Straze, yep. So I think we're good to go. k -Ron should be able to do this, because Rimuru could potentially nuke um, the Ravi for a bit of damage, and then chunk, him, uh, chunk her down, right? Circus Fantasia C. Lilia, so going for a bunch of effectiveness here. Can he debuff DJB? I don't think so. Yeah, that's what I thought. DJB now cuts, though. Quite nice. Does he go for a Provoke here? Oh, he does go for a Provoke! Uh, Rimuru resists. Now, Politus is very slow. It's probably a degen Politus build. Uh, what do I do? I think I can just go ahead and hit the Politus here and see what happens. Nothing happens. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to use DJB's Barian version because Polinus is so far back that I don't think I need to care too much right now. He's going to try to control Rimuru. Doesn't know that I'm a tanky Rimuru. That Silk actually seems like she has some damage. Ooh, nice. Actually, this is really nice. The fact that we got Stealth and Barrier. So Stealth, even though all my units are Stealth, so it doesn't even matter. He can hit anyone he wants. It reduces AoE damage by 50%, which is quite good. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep this advantage here. Yeah, let's keep it going. Ravi's hitting me for not too much. Let's go ahead and uh, pop our S3 here. Who do we hit? I think we hit the Politus, right? We're attacked down, but it's fine. 
We still have a nice little barrier on us here. Yeah, it's definitely a degen politis. Alright, I see, I see. So he's going he went for a tanky politis and he has a um a fire robbie as well. And we got some counterattacks going, which is quite good. Alright. And we could go for a do we go for an S3? Politis is pretty far back. We could go for an let's just go for an S3. Let's go ahead and cleanse and go for an S3 here. I think it's fine. Yeah, Politis gets to go, push up, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and... I'm just gonna S1, I'm not even gonna Soul Burn this. There we go, didn't need a Soul Burn, got some luck on our side. Uh, blind debuff on everyone is actually really huge. Uh, yeah, so hopefully he misses here. Never mind, he just hits all three of my units. Oh, that's a lot of damage! Whoa, he blew up my DJB. Now, Kron counters though. That's a lot of damage coming out. Rimuru still hasn't used his S3 yet. Oh, and Rimuru goes down for the count. Can we do this? Come on, Kron, just finish things off here. So there you go. All the bulk in the world can't save you from impending doom from Kron's backhand. Alright, look at us. We jumped almost... Look at that. One match jumped almost 100 ranks. We are looking quite good. We're facing down Emperor players now. I've actually been fighting Emperor players quite often um, off camera. So, not a huge surprise, but hey. Win or lose, it does not matter because we are on the steady climb up. Let's see if we can secure a spot here in Emperor uh, with the time that we have left. So, Dien gets picked out. We're going to go for a DJB. Emil Kalrick is pit, uh, banned, which is quite nice. Well, now, with Dien, I'm going to go for Rimuru. Of course. You snag the Rimuru into Dien, and it is really punishing. So, if she has threes, Rimuru can steal bus. If she has twos, DJB can punish with an S2 as well, the Baryon version. Aeola is a common pick into Rimuru. Also, you don't want the opponent to have Aeola if you have Dien, for the most part. Strip your buffs, unbuffable, could potentially silence your DN as well, because most DNs are not super high effect res. Politis is common into DJB and Rimuru as well, but now, look at this, my opponent has two debuff units. Ed is actually fairly strong here, but you know what, two mages as well. I think this is time for Bellion to come out yet again. I'm gonna put the Bellion here, I'm gonna go ahead and slap uh, Ed here as well. And now, this opens my opponent up to ice units, like Shu, Shu's good into Bellion and Ed, right, and Arya potentially as well, is a pretty decent pick. But they're gonna opt for Fire Meru, which is not what I expected. Okay, um, Fire Meru's pretty strong, especially if it's a zero speed full damage build. We'll see how that works out for them there. Uh, I might go for an ice unit pick down here. If this last pick is not very strong, I'm gonna go ahead and ban the Meru, because she doesn't have a debuff, so she could work against Ed, right? And I, do I don't really like that. We'll see down here. He probably shouldn't be picking another debuffer. If he is, it's gonna be a uh, little bit of a pickle. I could also pick SSB. Ooh, Rylet being picked out. All right, I think this is uh, SSB is in order, right? SSB is pretty good into this team, or at least I would think so. Do we go SSB or do we go Shu? I think we go SSB. Yeah, because I don't care if we get silenced and stuff, right? So let's go for that. Let's ban the Riley because I think he can snipe somebody down real early. Yeah, I think he has to ban the SSB. I think he has to. Yeah, there we go. So we get the four units that we wanted. Now the problem is we're facing down Meru, and if he gets something like anti-crit buff up and we fail to crit her, we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. So he might go for the attack buff right off the bat, because Aeola's going next, right? So Aeola can put the unbuffable on the team. Yep, so that's exactly what he is doing right here. 
And again, I will definitely take it because watch what happens here. He's gonna AL if he ALS threes, right? DJB will not get debuffed. And we can uh, push everyone up with an S3. Yeah, I think I'd rather I think I'd rather have Ed get immunity here. Which is fine. Politus will definitely proc, but that's okay. Because then, uh, what happens with Rimuru procs? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Rimuru procs? We miss, but we still steal the anti-crit and the attack buff, which is exactly what I wanted. And now we can use Rimuru to nuke down this Meru. Which will be quite nice. This is a full send damage Pulitus, by the way. Okay, anti-crit helping me out here. Let's go for this on the Meru. Please, don't magic for friends here. Very nice, okay. And now Ed can go ahead and finish Meru off, and I think we are good. Meru was the biggest threat to our team. And now that she's gone, I think we're in a pretty decent position. All right, he's going for the S2. Now, the thing about this S2 is... Um, ooh. I think I go for the S3, because uh, Politi Pol Politis... Valian gets a defense buff by doing this, because she is a fair unit. As you can see, very fair unit. It doesn't matter that he went for the cleanse here. Right, Ed has no uh, immunity on him anymore, so he is open to getting debuffed yet again, which is quite nice. DJB can still barrier inversion here, which is fine. Okay, uh, let us go for this Politis. She's very squishy, right? Very, very squishy. Did this Politis use S2? Yes, she has one more turn left. So let's go for Barrier Inversion, just because we can. Okay, put that Miss debuff on the Politis, and we're just gonna DPS her down. Nothing that he can do. We got a Lucky Stun, um, which I will definitely not com complain about. Let's focus him down the DJB. Continue going for the Politis. It's his only damage source. Nice, another dual attack. I'll definitely take it. So I think this is pretty much it at this point, yeah. I think uh, it was pretty much over once I got the Meru snipe down, and look at that, guys. Climbed up into the rank of Emperor for the very first time. You're seeing it on camera right now. So, it's a pretty nice feeling, but don't get too excited. We are still a couple days away, three days away, and the last days are going to be the tough ones. Now, we can still fall out of Emperor naturally if we don't play, uh, you know, in the next 24 hours or so. Or we can just match up against... Wait, we matched up against Hui. Yo, this is... Oh my god, this guy was in the Epic 7 World Championships here. So we're definitely going to lose to this guy, there's no doubt about it. I don't think there's anything we can do against this guy. Uh, I voted for him! I supported him! Hui! Let's go, man! What an honor to fight against one of the top players here, quite cool. Uh, let's go for a Rimuru pick and a DJV pick. So, yeah, oh, that's quite nice. Legend player right off the bat. I don't even care if we lose this. This is awesome. <laughs> you guys can't see me right now, but I'm, I'm this huge smile on my face. This is amazing. Crimson Armin and Ruel. So, Hui is a very, very tanky player. Extremely tanky player. And, honestly... I'm probably going to have a very hard time fighting against him, to be very honest here. Uh, I need to pick a DPS of some sort, right? So do you think Arc Demon is good? Arc Demon, Landy? Landy into this? I don't know. He, he still has two picks, right? I can last pick Landy. We can go something like an Arc Demon. Is Arc Demon good here? No. Is Bellion good here? Eh? If I pick Stene, he's definitely going Bellion. Let's go FCC. Let's go FCC and let us go with. You know what? Let's go with. Uh, let's go with Arc Demon. Should we? No, let's go Stene. Let's go Stene. Why not? He's gonna go Bellion, uh, which is to be expected. He two AoEs here, right? And then uh, I'm pretty much screwed. Yeah. So Charlotte. 
pretty strong unit. He has Ruel for revives and stuff too. Hmm, Stenny probably wasn't the pick, I don't know. He just needs burst damage. My Stene can live because she's a bulky lifesteal Stene. Oh, there we go. There's the Bellion. Um, hmm. Bellion and Charlotte, huh? Ooh. That's a little spooky. That's actually a little spooky. Um, we could probably go for... Do you want to go for Summer Break Charlotte? I don't know. Summer Break Charlotte, huh? I mean, he's gonna fight the Stene no matter what, right? So we're gonna go Summer Break Charlotte here. Do I want to fight a Bellion or do I want to fight the Charlotte? I think I have to fight the Charlotte. And I don't think it's gonna end well for us. Oh yeah, Summer Break Charlotte is gonna get banned here. He's fighting the Stene, and Charlotte's actually fire too, so good against Rimuru. We're gonna have a hard time against this, I, I think. Yeah, I was expecting the Bellion if I picked the Stene, but I really didn't have any more safe picks left to choose from. So, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and hit the ML Calric here. Yeah, look at these units. ML Calric at 28k HP with good speed as well. This guy is crazy. Yeah, in a standard versus standard matchup, I think I'm definitely going to be losing this. Oh, he's going to go for Rimuru. Okay. He's just poking the Rimuru, trying to get him down. I see, that's respectable. Uh, Crimson Armin gets to go as well. Uh, let's go ahead and just hit the... Right, we're going to try to avoid hitting the Charlotte at all costs. Because that would be pretty bad for me. Because she gets a uh, attack buff and everything. Alright, uh, C. Armin can go ahead and... Oh, she's not going to pop anything! Alright, we're just going to analyze, steal the, uh... Steal the immunity buff. Okay. I don't think I can kill Calric here, even if I soul burn. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot the S3. Again, this is a C. Armin protected ML Calric that's 28 HP. Yeah, look at that. Hardly any damage at all. And this Charlotte is going to be able to S1 AoE into my team, putting the attack down on my units. Not good, not good. He might pop the S3 to get an attack buff on everyone. He might. I think he's holding off on C. Armin's S3 though, the reason being that he does not want the... Um, I don't think he wants me to have... Oh, do I? I don't think I S3, though. It makes my DJ be way too squishy if I S3. Especially with an attack buff, Charlotte, is that right? Okay. Do I do this? I think I do. Let's soul burn, and let's go ahead and kill this ML Calric here. It is very tanky, so it's still not gonna die. It might go for an S2 strip on somebody, though. Take away the immunity attack buff. Oh no, he's just gonna S1. Okay. That is fair. Gonna heal with Ruel here, which is fine. Okay, is C. Armin... Ooh, gonna pop the uh, Soul Burn on C. Armin here. Bulking up. Alright, there's nothing I can do at this point, except try to heal a little bit. Oh nice, Stene goes for a little dual attack as well. Doesn't really matter, because everyone's invincible. <laughs> he felt safe popping that because Rimuru already popped his S3. I could have held on to it. Oh, you know what, I should have hit the Charlotte. Oh, okay, there we go, we hit the Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte's not that tanky. That's with a defense buff, I think. We might be able to do it. Yeah, we might be able to do it. I know Ruel can still revive stuff, but I think we can. I think we can. Yeah, let's try this. Um, let us go for the Ruel here. I think what I'll do is I'm going to bury inversion. To hit the Calric here, and we'll just keep on healing a little bit. Calric gets to go now. FCC gets to put a skill null up on the team, so I'm definitely going to use this uh, 
Soul Burn to reduce my cooldown, so I can continue protecting a team from Charlotte as much as possible. Because we're about to get a hit incoming. Yep, so she's gonna break the skill nulls. And now it's Siarman's turn. Alright, Charlotte doesn't have a buff anymore. And all Calric has his S3 and stuff up. So we are in a little bit of trouble. Let's go ahead and hit the Calric here. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep hitting him here. Again, it is uh, ideal as long as we don't hit Charlotte, right? Okay, Rimuru has his S3 up is the next thing, so he's gonna go for the S2 on Rimuru, which is fine. I don't think I was planning on doing an S3 immediately here. Ooh, that was a lucky dual attack! Oh, is he gonna Soul Burn this? Yeah, for the repeated S3s turn after turn. Okay, a lot of damage coming in. Unhealable on me as well, that's quite a shame. Uh, let us go for a hit on the Armin here. We're in Frenzy 4 already. Okay, defense broke the Charlotte, which is quite nice. I think I can provoke her here. Oh nice, we got another hit. A little dual attack action. Can I push my team up? I think I will. I'm gonna go for the push on my team. Emil Coward can definitely cleanse this uh, debuff off of the Charlotte. He just has an S3. Yeah, so he's gonna go for the S3 here. Alright, we're gonna try to finish off the C Armin though. There we go, very nice. Less damage mitigation for him. Also, look at that. Uh, I should have an S2 up. Ooh, nice dual attack. Should have an S2 up on my um, Rimuru. And, and, the good thing is, uh, I should have my... There we go, Analyze coming in. Can I grab the immunity and the attack buff? Nice. Very nice. Okay. And we're saving souls right now, so we can use our Spectre, right? Spectre Tinder is going to be crucial in taking down this well. DJ, he might go down! Ooh, he's so... <gasps> he actually took down the <laughs> FCC and my, and my Spectre Tenebria, so... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and concede here. <laughs> wow! I guess Frenzy 5 will do that to you, right? Look at that. Frenzy 5. 60% attack! So, well played, well played. Wow, what an honor, and we only lost 5 points from that, so I'm way more than okay with what just happened there. Wow! Getting to fight against Hui. He's who I wanted to win the Epic 7 World Championship too. That is so cool. Alright, let's keep on going! Let's see what we can do. FCC band? Bellion band? Uh-oh. Are we in danger? Let's first pick DJB. Oh! Ron! We're getting cleaved! Alright, Ron and Politis being picked out. Okay. So that is why the Bellion is banned along with um, FCC. So Ron and Politis make things a bit tricky. I still go for Rimuru though. I think he's a pretty decent choice. What do I do? Aeola? No, I don't go Aeola. He already has Politis. I don't go anything like Dilibet, because we can't cut, right? Politis exists, so we cannot cut. And that's the main problem. Uh, we could go something like Christy. Christy as a knight? And then something like t or Kairon? I think, oh god, do we go t -Surin? I think so. I think we'll just slam t -Surin here and see what happens. We could ban the Ron and fight the rest of it. We'll see. Closer Charles, huh? More AoEs. Oh, Sid coming out as well. Interesting. So this is definitely a uh, K-Ron game. It's a K-Ron game, and I think we ban the Ron, and we can fight this. We'll do K-Ron, and we'll do Sage Ball. Yeah, let's do Sage Ball, and let's do uh, K-Ron here. 
Right? So we can put Ida or whatever down here and it doesn't matter. Ooh, Emma Pavel as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this, right? No, he's definitely banning k -Ron. For sure he's banning k -Ron. But we have to- we have to ban Ron. We just have to ban Ron. Oh, he's ban- he banned DJB! Well, not DJB, and Sage Ball. I'm getting people's names mixed up. He banned Sage Ball. Alright, well, no Ron. Let's see what happens. He's gonna push up here. t though, here's the thing. t gets the stealth. So, um, we can't get hit by this Sid. Sid might go for Rimuru, but Rimuru is going to counter. I hope this doesn't kill. It might. It's an attack buff Sid. Oh, that does, oh, it does kill. That's really bad for me. T Surin goes down. Now it's just Kairon versus the world, so can Kairon do this? Who knows? Uh, he has no way of stripping my buffs. He's going to counter here. Okay. Oh, and then he's gonna he's gonna concede, yeah. There's no way they can beat this K Ron here. By banning Ron, he can't soul burn S3, which means he cannot get um he cannot get the strip on K Ron and I'll be able to pretty much kill everything here, right? I'll be able to kill anything of these three units and then we'll wait for the evasion to fade off of the Charles or we counter multiple times until we get lucky. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do one last one here and see what we can do. Hopefully it ends in a win. If, if it ends in a loss, it's fine. I expect matches at this point to be 50-50. As long as I win uh, every other one, I should be okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and ban these two units right here. See, Lilius banned Aeola ban. Oh, nice, nice. I love it when those two units are banned because I don't have to deal with debuffers. Even though I don't have to deal with debuffers, I still like picking DJB because he enables me to do so much, right? Alencia picked out. All right, so let's go DJB yet again because why not? And if Alencia is being picked out, I mean, Rimuru is fair game, right? Yeah, let's go for Rimuru. I don't care what the opponent first picks here. The Alencia is kind of a thing we can deal with down here as well. Flitica, see? They can transition really easily into something like a cleave, right? So Flitica and... So Alencia is the anchor, I see. Flitica and Closer Charles being picked out. So we can go for something like... Ooh, t Surin's kind of bad into this, right? Alencia is a double attack, but Alencia's double attack is... Um, well, she has an AoE, too. Oh, quite clever, quite clever. Alencia's dual attack does do uh, injury. Her S1 does injury, so... t could survive. I don't know if Sage Ball is the best option here, though. k would suffice. But I don't have anything else. Huh. That's a little iffy. Uh, let's go K... Ooh, do we go k -Ron? I think we still go t Surin here. I think we still go t Surin, and then I think we go... Um... Let's go... Oh, Troublemaker Crozet! Okay, there we go. Whew! I was about to go FCC. FCC could also work, but I really wanted Troublemaker Crozet for the damage reduction. So we can try to protect... Yeah, let's try to protect Rimuru with that Troublemaker Crozet, and I think we're gonna go ahead and slap down the... Kron here. There we go. So who do I ban? I think we're fine fighting all of these. He might be banning Kron though. Yeah, maybe I should have gone Sage Ball anyway. Yeah, Sage Ball might have been okay. I think I have to ban. Flitica can enable Pavel immediately. Closer Charles gonna go enable C Dom. Oh, ooh, hmm. Alright, let's go for Flitica ban. Kron's banned. Uh-oh, yeah, now we're in trouble, because I don't think t Surin survives. <laughs> That's the thing, I don't think t Surin survives. Uh, ML Pavel, yeah, I don't think so. Don't think so. There's no Politis, actually. Oh, I should have gone Politis. Yeah. Oh, that's an oversight on my part. I was... My opponent always used to have, like, you know, my opponent used to just have it. 
Not something I had to deal with, but okay. That's alright. Oh, if Sidon goes for her S3 though, T Surin gets to push. Nope. Oh wow, analyze. Oh, that's bad. Hobble might be able to kill T Surin here. Oh, and then we lose. Oh no, he doesn't. Never mind. Okay. So I think we just push up the team then. Wow, Trollmaker Crozet! Pulling through. Alencia can still kill me though, that's the problem. Alencia can still kill me. Let's go ahead and deal as much damage as we can here. Hopefully finishing off a couple units. Alright, not quite. What do I do? What do I do? Everyone's a single target damage dealer, right? Everyone's a single target damage dealer. Let's go ahead and push the t -Surin. Everyone's single target now. Everyone use their AoEs. So I think we're good. Alencia can hit the t -Surin, but then she stealths. And we have anti-crit up. Yeah, there's no AoE. Alencia's silenced. I think we're okay. He's gonna go for DJB, finish him off. Oh no, he doesn't finish him off. Okay, so Closer Charles gets to finish off the DJB. Okay, and I assume, yep, Sidom's gonna, oh, try to finish off the Troublemaker Crozet, but not quite. Pavel, huh? Now let's go ahead and finish off the Pavel here. <laughs> Uh oh, here's trouble. Oh yeah, this is trouble, because I don't think... Oh please, don't do it. Oh, oh no, it's not gonna work, t -Cern. Oh wait, no no, t is it's not- wait, hang on. Do we stealth? Oh no, we, do, we already stealthed. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, so close, so close. Oh well. He's trying to, he's trying to BM me, but hey. Well played, man. Well played. The Alencia Anchor, quite clever. I've seen it before, so not, not the most unique thing out there, but hey. That's quite alright. Hovering just outside of the Emperor range, but you know what? You guys saw on camera the first time I've ever hit Emperor in my life. So with that being said guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below letting me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.